If I ask you how many firefighting planes have already been launched in LEGO Town and City, you'll probably say there were a lot, right? Well, in reality there were only two. Town had none, and City only two, one in 2012, and another one more recently, in 2019, all of them sea planes. In 2024, we will have the third, 60413 fire rescue plane, and the first one that is not a seaplane. It contains 478 pieces and costs 60 euros or 55 dollars, equivalent to almost 13 cents per element in euros or 11 and a half cents in dollars. It really is a somewhat high price for a city set, but we'll discuss it later. First things first, let's start with a curious detail. The set contains 5 bags, one plastic and the rest paper. Inside these there are smaller plastic bags, except bag number 5, which has a paper bag instead. We start by building the action area with a forest section on fire. There are two trees and some rocks, and it's precisely in these that the fire starts. Little strange, isn't it? There are three flames fitted into round plates with a rounded bottom and placed on the rocks without remaining fixed. And you'll understand why later. At this stage we have something far-fetched but funny. Remember the 1991 movie called Rocketeer? Well, it looks like he's back as a firefighter and is ready to put out fires. A jetpack with built-in water cannons, which promise to make life a little easier for our firefighters. We move on to the second book using the remaining four bags, all of them to build the plane. And I need to be honest, I'm a big fan of its design. It's true that my knowledge of this type of vehicle is almost zero, but I tried to put myself in the shoes of a six or seven year old kid and I would just love the set. Does it swoosh? Yes. Does it fire cannons? Yes. Drop water bombs? Yes. The front is removable which reveals a cockpit with two controls. There is also space for another figure to sit behind, but with some cunning it is possible to hang out two figures in the window. Very Rambo style. We soon realize that there will be a mechanism there, aided by elastic bands, that will allow something to fall. On the side we have two water cannons, each capable of firing two one by one round plates simultaneously. At the back we have a cargo door with a ramp, even though there is nothing to load, only the figures or the jackpack. With the plan completed, we realize one more thing. It's another city set of this year without stickers. All decorated elements are printed, including the numbered panels and the symbol on the plane's tail. At the top of the vehicle we have a door that allows you to place six round bricks one by one in trans blue, which will be the water that will pull it out of fires. These are placed in a row inside the plane, which will be released individually through a mechanism found under the wings. When pulled, it releases one of these elements falling to the floor or table, causing the next piece to occupy the new position. When you pull the bar again, another brick falls, and so on until you run out of elements. A very interesting and functional mechanism without a doubt. Regarding the minifigures, two of them fit torsos and legs with new printings that remind me of paratroopers. In conclusion, I really like it. I don't know if it's because I feel like a child when I put together these type of sets, but I had a lot of fun testing the functions and putting out the fires. It does have junior pieces and the front is one of them, so truth to be told, aesthetically it really gives a different and cool look. There are a few more that are not so noticeable, such as the rear structure where the loading door is located, and two wedges that are partially covered but which are also huge. Another detail that I didn't like very much are the side water cannons. As I said before, my knowledge of aircraft is very limited, especially when it comes to firefighting planes, but I don't think I ever seen this type of system installed in on, on an aircraft of this type. And that brings me to another fact. In Portugal, firefighters are also called the soldiers of peace, and truth be told, this set is easily convertible into a military plane, with cannons and mechanisms for dropping bombs. And this also demonstrates a bit the realism of this set, since if I am not mistaken, a good part of the firefighting planes are actually converted military planes. Therefore, I congratulate LEGO on having developed and released this set. So, what is your opinion? Will you add it to the shopping list? 
It looks great on a city display with firefighting fires on the forest, and I'm sure any child will love it. And now, it's my time to play. Thank you LEGO and Alain for sending the set for review, opinions on it are my own. And don't forget, play well.